Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be talking about some of the tips and tricks you can try out with the Moto Edge 50 Pro 5G. So the Moto Edge 50 Pro 5G comes with Android 14 out of the box and this is the Moto's Hello UI. And uh, uh, we have uh, uh, Hello Moto you can see here, uh, device name and uh, uh, all the details are available here. So you can see that the Moto Edge 50 Pro 5G is one of the really good power pack devices with IP68 rating, wireless charging, curved AMOLED display good processor and good UI experience almost like stock Android then uh, you get uh, a very minimal blotware so a lot of things are going uh, uh, in the Moto H50 Pro's way because it is good value but there are a few other things as well so we have done other videos like uh, uh, the performance testing the camera review the charging test the battery drain test in this video we will be talking about the tips and tricks of this uh, UI from Motorola so let's get started with uh, the tips and tricks of the Moto H50 Pro 5G so before that this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so let's go straight uh, to the settings so here uh, we have the personalized option so this is one of the most important aspects in terms of customization options so here we have the lock screen uh, you can see the lock screen options uh, you can add a move or scale how you want you can add effects here if you want some effects uh, you can add uh, here there are plenty of options available then uh, you have the option to customize the home screen uh, here also you can add the uh, effects then uh, wallpaper you can make uh, wallpapers with ai you have dynamic curated images then uh, you can select from your photos so those are the options uh, in terms of lock screen and wallpaper then going to the themes so there are four themes available by default in fact five themes are available so these are the five themes in fact uh, you can create your own theme you can select the colors the font icon shape everything you can select you can see here these are the options icon shape you can select colors you can select and create your own theme so again very important thing because uh, this will help you to have your personalized look on the Moto H50 Pro 5G now going to the colors here here also you can see that colors you can choose which colors you want in the settings then uh, the notification toggle so you can set the wallpaper color or you can go with the basic colors then icon shape uh, we have uh, five options here uh, you can choose which type of icons you want you want circular uh, then uh, 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 square is there then rhombus uh, or additional options are there so if you want uh, which uh, you can select here and once you click save that is applied then lock screen so when you go to the lock screen you have this clock then here you can actually select how you want the notification to appear uh, if you want bubble you want chip or you want a list type now the bubble uh, is kind of very interesting i will show you how this bubble works so if you go to the lock screen you can see now this is the, this the bubble if i just press here you can see uh, the notifications so this is how the bubble works so very good actually in terms of experience so you can go ahead and uh, change those bubbled options and you can go and uh, have uh, different types of notifications in the lock screen now the display text and style uh, you can select the uh, style here font size and uh, display size then layout is there fingerprint animation there are three options available for fingerprint you can uh, select which one you want and then uh, select that uh, so dark mode is there then edge lighting is there uh, if you get an incoming call you will get an edge lighting this will be available for uh, alarms app notifications then uh, uh, you can uh, select when you want to see the notifications or other light uh, you want start and end time can be selected so these are some really good options uh, for edge lighting you can also select the color which color you want so you can see here the incoming light so how you will have this for alarms and notifications so that's the uh, notification light or rather the edge lighting so these are the personalization options then uh, if you go to the display options here also we get some interesting options one is uh, three finger screenshot that is quite common uh, then one is a swipe to split screen i uh, will just show you that uh, what you need to do is just, just swipe here now you can see here just swipe uh, from one side to other side you have the split screen and now you can see that split screen in action if you don't want you can just swipe up and uh, this will uh, close that's the swipe to split screen option then in the home and lock screen option you can select how you want the control center to appear now the classic style is kind of uh, the toggles and the notification together and if you go to the modern style you have the notifications then the toggles so two different options you will get so this is the toggles and the other one is the uh, notification so whichever you want uh, you can uh, select that 
then uh, going to the gestures so there are plenty of options for gestures you can see here sidebar uh, split uh, screen three finger screenshot double press the power button uh, press and hold the power button so a lot of options are there uh, for quick capture quickly enabling the battery or other torch uh, there are plenty of options in terms of uh, the gestures then uh, let's uh, go to the additional tools available so uh, one of them uh, is the notification toggle so here you can um, uh, go to the uh, i mean uh, here you can go to the edit mode and uh, edit quick settings so there are plenty of options available so you can select uh, which one you want you can uh, once you're selected you can apply it now if you go to the app drawer here we can create folder so we can just create folder and select uh, your apps so for example i'm just adding the benchmarking apps and uh, let's also add um and to benchmark so we are created so you can see here i have created a uh, app and i can just create uh, the name of the folder and if i just want to delete you can just go ahead and delete this the apps will be back in the uh, app drawer so this is how you can create a folder in the app drawer you get some additional options like the moto app so moto app uh, you have this personalization gestures moto security display customization you can enable all these options from the settings as well but this app also allows you to have control then another app uh, is the uh, moto uh, option uh, moto unplugged option so what it does is it will actually uh, now what it does is uh, you can see here find your balance if you are addicted to too many apps what you can do is enable this mode and uh, you will have access to only camera messages and uh, uh, calls and uh, once you start this uh, you won't get access to other apps so this will this way you can actually uh, um, stop wasting time on other apps so that is something which is included here then uh, you have the moto connect app as well uh, which can connect to the desktop uh, then um, uh, addition some moto apps are also included so those are the options available in the moto app so these are some things uh, you can try out on the moto edge 50 pro with uh, the hello moto or hello ui which is a moto's custom ui there are plenty of options although this is more or less like the stock android or clean android you get plenty of options in terms of customizations so you can see these options themes wallpaper widgets personalize everything will be available here as well so it's basically the same menu but you can access it from the home screen as well so these are the tips and tricks and uh, features of uh, the moto ui on the moto edge 50 pro 5g so hope this video was useful do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day